N90X in the previous training video I showed you how to install optimize and upgrade your VPX Express in this video I want to show you how to use load balancing with content switching and also SSL offloading for a real website so in my environment I have a real website called mailinglettercom and it is at 87 1.87 in my environment now the Netscaler has access to that subnet one dot, uh, here at 1.71, 171, I should say. Uh, the first thing I would want to do is go to traffic. Ma Ooh, well, let's log in. Let's log in. Mm. Right. Going to log into our new uh, Netscaler that we just recently deployed. Okay. All right. Uh, first thing we're going to do is go to traffic management and to content switching. Let's enable it. Enable the feature by right clicking on that and saying yes. Might as well do load balancing while we're at it. Load bal Whoops. Load balancing. Right click on. Right. Oh. Right click on it. Enable the feature. Yes. Uh, SSL. We need SSL. So let's click it right click on it enable the feature okay certainly we could have gone into system settings basic features content switching is on uh, SSL offline is on load balancing is on we could have done it in here uh, one thing I want to do is go to advanced settings turn off call home I don't have anybody to call home to configuration modes these are all good uh, for right now Okay, now what else? Okay, for now, for now that's good. Of course, the license is the express license with everything enabled with uh, no expiration date. This is just fantastic for the lab. Uh, I want to go to traffic management. I want to go to content switching. I want to go to virtual servers, and I want to create a new virtual server. Uh, this content switch virtual server, I'd, you can call it whatever you want, but try to be consistent. So I'll call it a content switch underscore, uh, let's call it mail any letter. I want the protocol to be SSL because I want to do SSL offloading. And uh, I need to give it an IP address. The IP address will be 10.0.1. So, uh, what did I make it? 88? 88? I believe it's 88. You want to pre-game everything. 89. Let's make it 89. It's 89. Pre-game everything so that you know what you're going to do. Of course, it's down because there's no... Yeah, 87 is the actual. Uh, I just made it 89. Okay. Uh, there is no content switch policy bound. There is no default virtual server bound we will say can we do this here uh, this is a there's no default if I say okay okay now SSL profile I don't want to mess with that but SSL ciphers Interesting. You can skip all this. Okay, we have a content switch. I want to. Normally we would edit it. I want to. There's no virtual server bound to it. I want to add a load balancing virtual server. It's going to be called virtual server underscore mail any letter. The protocol will be HTTP. It'll be a non-addressable IP and say, OK. Now I need to bind either a service group or a service. In this case, I only have one machine in the back for now. It's a new server. It is 10.0.1.87, the actual, oops, 
the service name, sorry, service name is the service for mail any letter. And the IP address is 10.0.1.87, the actual address of the backend service. And it's going to be SSL. We'll say OK. OK, the backend is up. There is no certificate yet. That's OK. Uh, we're going to select it. We're going to bind it. We're going to continue. And we're going to say done. And we're going to bind that. And of course, as you can see, the content switch uh, state is down because there is no SSL certificate installed. Next step, we're going to go to SSL. We're going to go to certificates. We're going to go to server certificates, and we are going to install a certificate. So to install a certificate, we need to give it a key pair name. So I will call it uh, mail any letter. Uh, let's do it like this. Cert underscore mail any letter dot kp for key pair. Now I will choose the certificate name, which is on my desktop. Here is the certificate. And I will choose the key name, which is the private key. And then I will say install. And now I have a key pair. It's going to expire in 42 days, but that's OK. Linking it, uh, there's no link to it. But that's okay. Usually, if you have the uh, other, what's it called? The uh, if you have uh, the parent certificate, you would link it here if it's installed. I don't think it's it's necessarily required. But that's okay. That's where you would link it if you have a, a intermediate certificate or another certificate that you want to link it to to uh, maintain the chain. Uh, okay, fine, fine. We got it. So now go back to content switching, virtual servers. Here is my server. I want to edit it, my content switch server. Now we've got to add SSL certificates. Go over here to the right, advanced settings certificate. There's no server certificate. I click it. I select the server certificate, which is this one, certificate mailing letter dot key pair. Uh, it is going to be SNI because there there can be multiple servers back there. But watch, this is not going to work because I did not enable the SNI feature. And that's OK. So let's fix that by going to, I think it's, is it SNL parameters here? Here, here it is. Under SSL parameters, I want to enable SSI. SSI enabled, OK? In the meantime, while I'm in there, this is best practice. Get rid of SSL version 3, get rid of TLS version 1, and only support TLS 1.2 and 1.3. It really depends on your user base. Uh, if you have a use case where you need to use a lesser TLS certificate uh, protocol to support it, you can support it here. So I'm going to say OK. So now I've changed that, and I still need to add the certificate, which is here. Server certificate. Oh, it is set. Uh, it is set. OK, close. It's it's there. I continue. Done. If I refresh, it should be green. There we go, and it is up. So now if I go to 10.0.1.89, I should get the site and it will be encrypted. 10.0.1.89. Is it it's on port 3000? I don't think that's going to work. Okay. Well we in this in this scenario because <clears throat> the website is running on port 3000, I updated my host file so that if I type in https www.mailanyletter.com it goes to the web server now if I check to see if I ping www.mailanyletter you can see that it's 89 which is the IP address of the content switch okay and now I have SSL offloading I have content switching, I have a virtual server and a service running 
So now all traffic is proxied by the Netscaler. So you can follow these exact same steps to secure your websites or your backend using the Netscaler as a front end proxy. I want to thank you for watching. This is Joe from N90X. In the next video, we'll probably be talking about web application firewall and how to further secure your website.